hello my beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you are new to this channel my name is Nelly when you are being taken for granted and you realize that you need to take a step back otherwise it will get worse and worse these are the people that know you they know you love them and they will always be constantly asking for one thing or another and they will expect you to provide for them each and every day these are people that could be your family your friends or even that partner sometimes they will come to you when they only need something today's video is about how to know that you're being taken for granted relationships is about giving what you can when you love someone you give them 100 percent of what you're capable of it shouldn't be about 40 to 60 percent when you are in a relationship you are giving them your time and time matters if they are going to waste your time you find yourself in a wrong relationship and you are wasting so much of your time and they are taking you for granted people should appreciate the time that you're giving them time matters when you are spending so much time with this person and they are taking you for granted you need to leave that relationship or you need to leave those people you cannot spend so much time with people that take you for granted and we invest so much in them and yet these people they don't see the way that you see them in this relationship we enter relationships without even asking questions questions like where do you see this relationship going or where do you see us in the future you may be in this relationship and the other person doesn't feel the same about you you may end up investing your time in this relationship because you didn't ask questions in the beginning at the end of the day you find yourself you're being taken for granted because maybe that person doesn't see you as being part of their future sometimes they just leave it and you become so comfortable in this relationship you begin to take each other for granted because we're so used to each other we're so comfortable and we start having expectations of one another we collect these expectations in our mind and yet we don't discuss them we begin to have certain habits Sometimes we're so comfortable with one another that we don't even realize that we're taking each other for granted. The truth is when somebody takes you for granted, it's actually draining and emotionally exhausting. You are aware that this person is taking you for granted and you feel you've got no value. You feel like you're being taken as part of the furniture. They no longer even communicate with you. They only communicate with you when they want something from you. And just because you want to hold on in this relationship, you keep providing and providing. And yet they are there to take and not give. You are always there to give them. You begin to blame yourself and you think it's your fault. It's not your fault. The problem is you are giving 90% while they're giving 10%. And you can see that they're giving 10%, but you're still hanging on on that relationship or friendship. There are some friends that will only come to you when they need something from you because they know that you're going to provide for them. In reality, when it comes to a relationship like that, you should know that it's heading for a downfall. This is when somebody has no value for you and sees you as part of the furniture. Sometimes you blame yourself and yet it's something that you can change. And you keep staying on this relationship when you know that you're being taken for granted. Eventually, when you decide to wake up and leave the relationship, it affects you personally and it affects the people around you. The next person that will come into your relationship, you will have trust issues. Whether it's a relationship or maybe it's a friendship, you'll always have trust issues because of where you're coming from and your experiences. As humans, we're always taking people for granted because of their kindness. Especially when you know that they're always available for you whenever you need them. Sadly, this is how people are today. Maybe the answer is do not try and give them more and more and maybe just stop doing it. When a person asks you for something, you can simply say no. Don't feel guilty to say no. You've given them too much of your time and your emotions as well and they've taken that for granted. So you are hoping that they will change. The thought of knowing that you've been neglected is painful. So you need to get over it and make that decision to change the things that you can change. And the things that you cannot change, leave them. You need to make that decision to focus on the things that you can control in order for you to get your dignity and respect back. These people are aware that you put them in this pedestal by using emotional blackmail on you. 
they know that by just snapping that finger, you'll give them what they want. You don't need to do that. We live in a world where people are there to just take and take. They're no longer ashamed about how the next person is feeling. It's all about themselves and they're not even ashamed of it. You are allowing them to take you for granted. The answer is very simple. You love them so much that you can lower your self-esteem just because you have that fear of leaving. That's why you've got so many reasons to justify your reason why you're staying in this relationship or why you're staying in this friendship. When you realize that you've been taken for granted, communicate with them and tell them that you disapprove of the things that they're doing. Make it known to them. Don't be quiet. If they want something that you they want you to do for them and you feel that you don't want to do it, just simply say, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Have boundaries. Learn to say no at times and don't feel guilty about it. Because at the end of the day, this is going to drain you and not them because they know what they're getting from you. Just simply say no because they will keep pushing your boundaries. And if you cannot say no, they'll keep pushing your boundaries until you can't stand it. Sometimes when you feel this too toxic, let them go. If they want to leave, let them go. Or maybe you should be the one leaving. If they have left you, don't be the one initiating to talk. Let them go. Maybe it's the space that you need in order to find yourself. Staying is a choice. If they are not right for you, let them go. At least they've shown you who they really are, what type of people they are. One day you'll find somebody that will appreciate you. Don't surround yourself with toxic people. You need to even ask yourself, why are you still in this relationship that is toxic or this friendship that is toxic? Is it worth your while? If it's not worth your while, you should have just left long time ago. Because when it comes to relationship, it's about finding that person that you want to share your life with. Somebody that you'll walk separate lanes, but walking towards one direction. Not somebody that will draw you into walking into different lanes, emotionally and spiritually. You don't want somebody like that. You need to find somebody that you walk spiritually in the same direction as you. Learn to love yourself. Above all, learn to love yourself to leave. Give yourself time to heal. And in the process, ask yourself, have you given yourself time to heal? And what have you learned from it? And how can you change from it? Learn to give yourself enough time for you to heal so that in the future you don't attract the same kind of people. When sometimes you don't give yourself enough time to heal, you start attracting the same kind of person because maybe you haven't given yourself enough time to heal. Sometimes we women, we tend to stay and nest thinking that this person is going to change and yet they are not going to change. You need to ask yourself, when you went to this relationship with these people, what were the main things that attracted you to these people? What are the things that you have in common? Did you set boundaries in the beginning or you didn't? Don't allow people in your space that are not going to respect your boundaries. Even when it comes to friends as well, if you've got friends in your house that are going to just come in and do whatever that they feel like in your home, and you leave them, they are going to take you for granted. In all situations, when people take you for granted, it's because they don't care about you. They are just selfish. They don't care what you think and they don't care about you. When you know that you're being taken for granted, make up your mind. Make that choice because life is about choices. Thank you for watching. If this is content that you like, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next video. God bless you.